This is Social Confidential, where at least social media editors take a look behind the logo to find out who's tweeting and sharing for major brands. I'm Julian Gamboa, and I'm here with Victoria Tran, someone who we will definitely not vote out because not only is she nuts us, but she's also a community director at Innersloth and the face behind the popular game and social powerhouse Among Us. Today we're playing Among Us with you and a bunch of ad weakers. Let's get to the questions before we get voted out. What really stands out from the Twitter account is that the game's account replies to many of the replies you get on your post. How have some of these interactions been? It's been super fun, especially when other brands kind of jump in, but also just like the kinds of things that I see our community doing together. So like sometimes there's fan art of the replies, sometimes there's fan art of the tweets and just the sense of community that comes from it is really great. And I've seen numerous other brands have like replied to when I just like tweeted hi and this was like this whole like thread of just a bunch of brands. And it was really cool because as you know, we all work kind of in this space. It's like, oh, I, I know these people or I see these people and it's kind of like talking to your friends. So we got our third kid in this oh. game. I saw B train in electrical. I saw a body there, so I don't know if someone else vented after they killed. What? Why did Kenny vote for me? Who the heck? Trust nobody. Oh. Okay. Hatsu was not a oh. I'm sorry, Hatsu. <laughs> We're still alive, Victoria. Your community is super engaged, as you just mentioned. How do you best nurture that activity and encourage more to do so? That's why I try to respond so much and why I try to just not make it like I'm talking to an audience, but like there's an actual community going on and like everyone's interacting with each other and people feel like they matter and that uh, you know they're contributing to the space whether it's an eight-year-old and their parent is posting their drawing i try to respond to it and i think that really helps encourage everything and like make people feel like they matter and that they're seen because i think that's again what social media does for us it's like you matter and you're seen and also we won <laughs> yeah it was us but those were imposters <laughs> i knew you guys were acting too nonchalant all right we're back for game two it is time that we have to have that talk. We have to talk about the bone tweet. Is beam bone anatomy canon now? And how have the fans embraced it? I think the great thing is because Among Us is all kind of about having being a little bit silly and having a sense of humor. The crewmate anatomy has been very widely embraced. <laughs> and I'm dead. When the lights went off, I saw Nick going the opposite way. Our can is Nick, everybody. I would I would suggest just vote Nick out. I would not suggest doing that. that that suspect. I fixed the one set of cables and I went to the other one and you followed me. Why were you on my back so close? Were you were you planning another murder? I'm following you, Julian. I'm following you. Something I love from your account is that you interact outside of your community a lot. I think it's sort of an advantage of indie games. There's less of like an approval process. I kind of just get to post whatever I like. It gives me a certain ability to react really fast to things, but also be a little bit more casual to things, right? And it's not necessarily just about like competition between games. It's more of a celebration of games and being excited for each other. And I think that's a really nice thing that I get to do. Here's a tweet that Victoria Tran wants you to see. Is there any real strategy behind the tweet? No, it's a very cursed tweet of an Among Us crewmate with legs. The crewmate shape is a classic one and you technically shouldn't change it, but also what if you just did? And as we said that, another body was reported. I haven't seen B-Train in a while. What are some things to keep in mind for brands looking to enter the gaming community correctly? I think if you're trying to interact with game communities and be a part of that space, it's to understand that it's like like books or movies or TV. It's like, it's not this weird thing. It still shocks me sometimes when people are like, I can't believe like a game got popular and it's in the mainstream. It's like lots of people play games and it's not like this weird like off thing uh, that no one has ever heard of. So just, you know, wanting to genuinely interact with the people and get to know the space will take you far. We Train and Kenny were the imposters and the imposters have been killing it, literally. All right, we're back for our third and final game. So Victoria, tell us how you ended up as a community director for Innerslot. I was the communications director at another indie game studio called Kitbox Games. 
and what drove you to continue oh. your path in gaming? I love games. I'm very lucky and cursed, I guess, at the same time. To have my passion be both my job and my hobby. I start working in it and I honestly, I love the sense of community. I love how fun it is, obviously. And also, again, the ways that I see games and the industry working together. Uh, it's really nice. And you actually do some live streaming on, on your side, right? Now I only live stream when I have time because since we're only a team of eight, uh, it's quite small. So I often, you know, end up being very busy and not being able to live stream myself, but it's a lot of fun. It wasn't me, I was fixing everything. Oh, okay. I was around. Can you be more specific? <laughs> As to what? What were you fixing? Some wires. <laughs> And then I flipped like again, the wires, wires again. <laughs> yeah, so I think I know how to do. If I go to the end of the other ones, I don't know what to press. <laughs> Bye, <Okay. Hatsu. gasps> Let's go! Oh, oh, you did it. What's a quick piece of advice you have for other social media managers? My best piece of advice that I like practice myself all the time, honestly, is to just fail at things. I found my best work to happen when I've been allowed to try things and test things because like you know social media moves so fast trends move so fast and not allowing yourself to like just give yourself time to you know have something be a little bit imperfect but you know uh, really on the ball uh, or you know to just try something and have it not do that great in terms of engagement or something i think you learn a lot more from your failures than from reading about people who've you know done really well wow i literally said that Julian's a murderer and no one listened. <laughs> Victoria, thank you so much for joining and playing with us. I had a great time. I had an amazing time too, minus, you know, being murdered a couple of times, but I had a lot of fun. Thank you for having me. I'm Julian Gamboa and this is Social Confidential. See you next time.